Shocking body cam vision has emerged of Queensland police letting a former colleague off despite him admitting to drinking behind the wheel. Retired Victorian Sergeant Kevin Anthony Perry was allowed to leave his car and walk home with his family after two uniformed officers called for backup. Is there any way you can just park and I'll, I'll catch a home? So I reckon... You know, it's, it's really up to you. But what about if there's break. no breast or thumb? Um, well, he's not going to tell me. He's not going to tell us. So. Mm -hmm. Two of the officers since turned the body cam into their superiors after feeling uncomfortable. Joining me now is former Queensland Detective Inspector Terry Goldsworthy. Morning to you. You're also an Associate Professor of Criminology. How would you describe the actions of these officers? Well, I think they're very concerning. I mean, if you look at our criminal justice system, it's built upon a number of principles, and they include that we're all treated uniformly and equally before the law. And in this case, clearly you can see that a uh, former officer uh, has used that position to try and benefit himself, and unfortunately we've seen uh, some Queensland police officers actually allow that to happen. So I think it's concerning. I mean, the fact that we saw not only um, the uh, agreements to let the officer go, but then we also saw some discussion about how to cover up what they'd done uh, was probably even more concerning than the original act. Yeah, and the thing that struck me watching this video is that you've got these two senior officers, and it wasn't just Naomi Shearer, it was Rowan Evans as well. No one speaking up. It felt like it was peer pressure. No one saying, you know, guys, we can't do this. Yeah, look, I mean, the first crew that intercepted had a senior constable on there as well. So, I mean, uh, there are three senior officers there. What should have happened is that the senior constable in uniform should have nipped this in the bud immediately and said, no, you'll be doing the test in 20 minutes. I'm not sure why there was a call for backup. It just seemed like a diffusion of responsibility to me. Uh, but, I mean, even more concerning was the offer by a junior officer. Uh, the constable mm. to delete the footage later. I mean, that just is really concerning if that kind of culture is present. And then you've got uh, this senior officer, Naomi Shearer, um, charged with criminal misconduct. That was dropped to a lesser charge. She cops a $2,000 fine and no conviction. What should happen now? Yeah, well, it's interesting. That charge of uh, misconduct in public office was brought in in 2009 when I was still in Ethical Standards Command, and it was designed exactly for these situations where someone uses their uh, powers or doesn't use their powers and does it intentionally and dishonestly. So I'm not sure why the Triple C have dropped that charge down, and I think those reasons should be made public in terms of transparency and governance. And we've seen it go from a seven-year offence to a two-year offence. Uh, what should happen now, I think, is that the Commissioner, uh, they decided just to dock her a pay level for one year. Uh, I don't think that's a suitable outcome. The public, and I'm sure most overwhelmingly the police, would not be comfortable having someone with those type of integrity issues still uh, you know, wearing a uniform and still having the powers of a police officer.